All right, here it is. Picked up my new Jeep. <laughs> no, not new. It's an 89 Sahara six-cylinder automatic. Frame's in great shape. You know, the door's got a little rust, but not bad, just surface rust. And this <clears throat> is going to be my next project. There's the interior, got an ammo can. Seats, of course, are going to be replaced. Dash is going to be redone, taken out, resprayed. It's got a new best top top. It's only about a year old. It's 31 inch tires, no lift, and uh, got some work to do. Well, I want to paint it. I'm going to fix the bodywork, of course. I don't think I'm going to put a lift on it. I'm probably going to keep it the same. I'll get new tires and rims and uh, clean it up and we'll see how it goes. No dents, no accidents. No real body rust, other than, like I said, just a little surface rust here and there, but we'll see. All right, so here we go, painting the dash time. Now, you're probably thinking, why didn't I just take the dash out? That's an excellent question. Because a couple of the screws were stripped, and I don't feel like dealing with them. And since I had to tape up stuff like this anyway, and I got to tape up those black bezels anyway, I might as well keep it in and just tape it up instead of dealing with stripped screws. It was only two stripped, but like I said, I really didn't feel like dealing with it right now. So, uh, yeah, tape away. And it's kind of easy because I just put tape right over it. Yeah, I just went like, and then I just took a razor and just cut around because there's like a little recess in there. And then once I take those out and it dries, then I'll do the, the black, the inner parts black, and I'll have to tape the outside. So, here it goes. Wish me luck. Okay, so here is coat number one. Just did a light coat. Aha, look at that. The steering column looks better already. Um, all right, so coat number one. Very easy. I didn't need to take a video of me spray painting. If you know to spray paint, you just spray it. Light coats at first. Remember, first coat is always very light. And I'm going to let it dry for a couple minutes. Then I'm going to get hit it again. Probably uh, probably three coats. See how the second coat covers well. Um, see how it covers. And then we'll see if it looks looking good already. Looking much better already. I finally got this dash piece out um, with that stripped screw, so, well, a little too late, but, well, I guess never late than ever. So I'm just taping it up, and I'm just putting the tape over it, and I'm just going like this with my fingernail. See, and then you get the nice groove, like that, and then I'll go over it with a knife, uh, the razor, and cut that out. So that's kind of a good way to make a little template here. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Both a piece of tape. And basically just putting it right over the middle. Like that. And like that. And then look if you take your finger now. So look at that. Now you get a nice spot they could score with the razor and then peel off this part. So that's what I'm going to do next. And if you want to see what I'm using, I'm using this, the Rust-Oleum 2X. Um, works great on plastic. See? Also bonds to plastic. Um, I used it on my TJ. When I had a TJ, I did my inner dash with that. I'll see if I can throw a picture up there so you can see. Uh, I did my TJ dash was all tan, and I ended up doing some black just to break it up because um, my doors were all tan, so I broke it up with some black around, you know, the top part, and I did the the bottom part as well. But I'll throw a, throw a picture in there. Uh, but yeah, so far happy the way this came out. Looks uh, looks pretty good. 
All right, while I have the dash out, look at pretty good. I'm gonna put this in. Basically, I just add some leftover. This material, I don't even know what it's called. Some kind of board at Home Depot, but I had scrap in the garage. So I got my voltage, and then, because the voltage on there actually doesn't work, uh, which I think is that one. But I like having my own little digital readout voltage, and then I have cigarette lighter, and then USB. And that's basically just gonna go. Just like that. But I'll wire it up another day. Right now I'm just fitting it in. And then that's the heat controls. And then this is where the radio used to be. But I'm not putting a radio in. Like I said, I'm going to go with like a Bluetooth speaker. And all right. Next steps. So to put the mighty Jeep emblem back. I just cleaned it off, sanded it down. Wiped it off with some rubbing alcohol. And we're going to glue it back. There it is, Jeep. Gotta clean up that decal a little. You see, there's a little uh, some of the paint is chipped off it. You look, take a look at black sharpie and uh, fill in those parts around the J and the E. But all right, next. Looking good. It's time time to start putting the dash back together. All right, so there it is, all painted and installed. Jeep logo back. It's in a console. It's not really in. I didn't bolt it down yet. It's just in here for now. But what a difference that dash makes. Yeah, nice and I also polished the uh, glass, the lenses. I used some 3M polishing compound. It cleared that glass right up, got rid of that haze that was there. Look at the column. Column looks so much better now. It's not all scratched up. I still have to do the speedometer and the tachometer. I gotta paint those bezels black because I didn't get to do those yet. I'll do that tomorrow. But man, what an improvement so far. And that's where those are gonna go, but they're not worried up yet. Like I said, they're just sitting in there. But between the new seat covers, the new dash, everything painted. Looking good. All right. Stay tuned for next update. Subscribe if you want to uh, see more progress on the, the Jeep project. Later.